including the uh, New York City area, parts of the Texas and adjacent areas, and parts of Idaho and Montana. It's May, Jeff, and uh, this time of year we get severe weather somewhere just about every day and often several parts of the country. Let's go to Jeff. Yeah, that's right, Greg, and it will last probably right into the summer. So this is just the beginning of the severe weather season here, and there's the catalyst. See that big spin up here and pushing some of these thunderstorms to the northeast. Coastal area is having a real nice time of it today. Lots of sunshine after some morning clouds burned off in the areas like New York and Philly. But tomorrow, I think, we'll have that risk of showers and storms. It will not be an all-day rain, but a much better chance of rain in Boston and New York down to D.C. tomorrow than today, while Pittsburgh, Buffalo, and up to Burlington have very pleasant weather as we go into the weekend. All right, now what about the Midwest? Vivian has all the details with the flooding issues. Yeah, our main concern has been the rivers on the rise across many areas here. In fact, as we look at South Dakota, we have been mainly watching the rivers because over the last couple of weeks, we've had so much rain. The James River still reports of major flooding and then moderate to major flooding here down across western Missouri and eastern Kansas. So we've been dealing with day in and day out out of rain, not so much in the last couple of days, but prior to that when we had so much rain. And so the rivers are still pretty high. Now it looks good in South Dakota over the next couple of days, but in Missouri and eastern Kansas, we could pick up an additional tenth to an inch of rain. And that's certainly what we don't need. As we look at the overall radar picture and satellite here, we are noticing some increased rain across the south central parts of Missouri. The rest of the Midwest and the Great Lakes, fairly quiet including for Detroit and Chicago and Minneapolis. We are watching this surface front, slightly cooler air behind it, but it doesn't have a lot of moisture with it. And look how warm it is, 82 degrees in Chicago, 84 in Minneapolis. These readings are uh, representing at least 15 to 20 degrees above average for the highs. Now tomorrow, not as warm in Chicago, 67 degrees, but another pleasant day in Minneapolis at 73. Now let's check on part.